90th annual Houston Livestock and Rodeo. First time ever at something like this. Drove, how long did we drive? Seven and a half hours. From Arkansas, yep. so from Hot Springs to here. Uh, and it is definitely incredible. Um, we've, been to other, we've been to a rodeo once, but that was like at an arena just outside Chicago of Chicago. Rodeo, so. yeah. But this yeah. is like authentic. It's been around since 1932. Right now we're at the livestock, so they're about to do, I'm not sure, something with like auctions and there's like a lot of kids, like, what is it, the 4-H? I don't know. We don't know, <laughs> so we're about to learn and figure out. So it's really cool, a lot of beautiful, beautiful animals. So we're about to check this out. So one of the other really cool things about this place is that it's not just cows and a rodeo. Yeah. They have all kinds of other things too. It's like a, a mini car show. They have belts that they sell and they have boots and jewelry and all kinds of other things. So it's, it's a like, festival. It's a festival essentially, yeah. There's not just one thing that they do, but there's a ton. So yeah, and that, then I, it, it is an all day thing. So we got here about 10.30 in the morning. It was already pretty packed and they have food. They have a wine garden, which I'm going there. Uh, and they have like right now they have the livestock they have we're looking for the alpacas now but they also have then we'll have the actual rodeo at night at 6 p.m. and then we'll have uh, we're gonna see marshmallow in concert after that and then uh, there's like carnival there's rides games so it's like a full day so plants is kind of whole day here and I just noticed they even have this thing oh. behind me <laughs> where these kids these kids are playing a game called farming simulator so I guess that's uh, how important it is to these people here. That's pretty cool. One of the really nice people here, a lot of the uh, money that's won here and that's made in the rodeo actually goes for the local community and to help send kids to school. So everything here is for a good cause, which I had no idea, and it's, it's really cool. It's huge. You guys have to come here. So just like any large event like this, you're probably going to get hungry. And this place has a ton of food. And we're going to try to eat as much of it as we can, but we know that that's impossible. Uh, we'll keep you updated, though, and show you all of the things that we try. So not only do they have deep fried Oreos, they also have deep fried Reese's and deep fried Snickers. <laughs> it's so windy. So we're gonna start with the fried Reese's. I've never heard about such a thing. So, <laughs> so let's check, it is windy outside. It's like 60 miles an hour wind. So <laughs> there's powdered sugar everywhere. Let's check this out. Oh my God, look at this. There's powdered sugar everywhere, it's amazing. All right, so. We're gonna try the deep fried Oreos. This is something I've heard of before, but I've never tried it. Jeez. I think this is so as American soft. as you can get. Yeah, basically. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. Well, I've been dying to try it now. I'll probably die after trying it, <laughs> so. Yeah, after the Reese's and now this. Yeah. Uh, next, we should try the Snickers, right? <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, after a lot of walking, you kind of it feels you feel bad eating it, but we're gonna probably be walking twenty five thousand steps. Yeah, and that, we don't do this every day anyway, so right. this is perfect. After wandering around, we were finally able to find llamas grazing and relaxing after their show. Since it's getting kind of hot in Houston, they shave the midsection to help cool them off. If you ever wondered who's softer, alpacas are much softer than llamas. This place is huge. We've been walking around for three hours now, and I don't think we saw all of it yet. There's endless amount of rides, which you can buy tickets for online or here with cash or card. A lot of drinks, and you will need them. You will need them and then a lot of uh, tasty food, which we're gonna keep eating. Normally, petting zoos are supposed to be for kids, but 
When's the next time you're gonna get to see a llama, let alone feed or play with one? Especially if you live in a big city like we do.